We are Seeds for Thought, a transdisciplinary team, all with the same mission, to tackle climate action through the use of hydroponics. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a method of growing plants with water without soil. It exemplifies how sustainable farming works by minimizing the environmental impact and the resource usage. There are different types of hydroponic system we have on campus. This one is an LFT system where it requires a pump for water circulation which maximizes its efficiency. For this is the deep water culture which is a passive system and it works well for different types of plants. So why is tackling the issues from our food system important? First and foremost, the demand of food will keep on increasing. Also, some stats show that one third of our global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by this food system. 70% of emissions are because of the traditional agriculture and also the land usage, hence emphasizing its importance of tackling the heat. Hydroponics also produces 50% less CO2 compared to traditional soil-based agriculture. Environmentally, hydroponic uses 90% less water compared to traditional farming. It can produce up to 20 times more food per acre, reducing the stress of converting our forest or grassland into agricultural land. Greenhouse grown hydroponics is also much more resilient to extreme weather events such as droughts or floods. Not to mention, hydroponics also works well in urban settings. Here is an example by one of our customers who successfully harvests plants right in their office. Tough with the sustainable agriculture practice, it not only tackles FDG 13, but also 2, 12, and 15. Does our work actually have an impact? Well, our work in Southampton could suggest that it does, where 10,000 children live in low income families. The most deprived regions are shown on the map, including areas like Redbridge and Barrogate. For these families, the higher price of nutritious food can make it harder to access, limiting them to cheaper processed foods which can cause higher obesity levels. To combat this, we provided an educational programme teaching children about the importance of sustainable farming and healthy eating, which has impacted 82 children across five schools. In three of these schools, we've also set up hydroponic systems, alongside workshops to give children the practical experience needed to use them. This has given children more of an interest in STEM subjects, with teachers reporting increased engagement from students. We've also impacted the local community, through selling our systems and setting them up in the university, alongside building relationships with the School of Environment Education Network. Awareness of our systems has been spread by participation in the Hampshire New Forest Agriculture Roadshow. The project started from our parent organisation, Inactus, but we don't want it to stop there, as we plan to utilise that network for national research. Our colleagues are proactive, business oriented students, so we'll be willing to take on an already successful project and expand it into their own cities. Our controlled national upscaling will be implemented in four stages, initially prioritising closer universities through thorough market research. Once these stages are completed and successful, then we, our future upscaling plans can commence. The main way we will finance our national expansion is predominantly through the sale of our hydroponic related products, as well as funding opportunities and green investing. Along the way, we will tackle many other SDGs as all the SDGs are interlinked. Once the national expansion is complete, we will then tackle these SDGs on a global scale for our aspirations to expand to Niger. But why Niger? Well, with a population of 25.9 million, 47% are children under the age of five that are chronically malnourished, with 3.3 million being food insecure, extreme weather conditions, limited arable land and water resources, and socio-political conflicts are all key factors to this issue. Thus, we propose a year-long intervention period utilizing NFT hydroponic systems to provide a sustainable food source. Being highly water efficient, it can bypass the soil constraints, thus countering desertification and droughts. We'll also focus on creating organic nutrient solution farms generated from waste products to create a self-sustaining cycle. Furthermore, workshops will allow the local community to identify appropriate recyclables for future systems, thus reducing waste and fostering local expertise. We've decided that Dasso is a strategic location for our operations due to its stressed food insecurity status. With an 80% agricultural workforce, our project can improve both job security and food sources. In conclusion, despite starting as a small project in Southampton, we successfully grew to have a large impact in our community and are eager to support you and SDG 13 in our future endeavors. We are Seeds for Thought, and we thank you for your time.